Welcome to another Game Boys Ross awesome video guys. Um, I just got back from the car boot and um, I thought I might as well do a video and show you guys what I got again. So it's today I only got three things which um, are not too bad. Um, not bad prices as well. Um, still not finding anything to do with Game Boys which is really annoying around this area. I think it may be because there's actually an old school game shop here. And people probably take them there and sell them there, but um, she's really pricey. Uh, I think it's called Old School. Um, spelled differently, but um, if you guys want to know, I think she's probably got a website, I'm not sure. But um, there's a, it is, it is a um, classic old school shop that sells all the old games and stuff like that. And um, not just games as well, magazines and already pretty cool in the Warhammer stuff. Um, but anyway, um, Let's get into what I've got anyway. So I went round. This is all from one car boot. I went to the second one. I didn't really see anything really what I wanted to get. Um, I got up. I went about uh, half seven. About half seven, and um, I got down there. Didn't see a lot, but then I spotted um, a couple of DS games which um, I never played before. And um, I never really played any of their series, and that is um, po Pokemon, the Pokemon for the um, DS, which is this. Uh, it's not the original Pokemon, but I that uh, this is what I got. I got two of these for ten quid, not ten quid. Two of these for five quid. I mean, sorry guys. I mean two of these for five quid. Um, I got this one, uh, which is all complete. All the manuals are in there. All complete manuals in there. Got the um, the game there, which says what works fine. I, I didn't think it was working when I first put it in my DS, and then it uh, booted up, and I was like, yeah, sick. Um, this one was from the same person, and as I said, five, two for five quid. And um, this is this one here. And this one's actually the I think it's an American version. I don't know, but uh, it has like E in it. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, I think it's an American version. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments because I want to know. But um, you can tell that it's different because America, I know the American ones does have the the boxes of different sizes compared to ours out right here. So this is the English one. This is the American one, I think. And as you can see, I don't know why, but why does um, like our stuff tend to be really chunky? Like even the PlayStation One games, they were chunky. The American versions are dead thin, and um, I don't know. But anyway. Um, that's that one. So I'll show you this one that is complete, which I was quite chuffed about as well. Because when I have my DS games, I, I end up losing the games. I've got the cases still. I've lost a couple of games on, on the way, which I've got really no about. So they're um, boxing complete, which are quite good. So I'm thinking about actually starting collecting for the DS, as not many people are wanting the DS games anymore, really. I see quite a few. So if I've seen any good titles, I'll ask how much they were. Ask how much they want for them. So this this is five quid for both of these, which was quite good. Um, that's something else I spotted and lady saying um, I knew it wasn't um, the root of the full game, which uh, I mean by um, a demo. I knew it was a demo. I used to have it as a kid, um, which I think it was one of my mates what brought it round, and um, I spotted it. And I know I'd probably pay a bit overpriced for it, but it's quite nice. It's in good condition, and I wouldn't mind having it. And this is um, Tekken, Tekken 3 Collector's Edition um, disc. I know it's a demo, but um, the disc looks really cool. I like, I like the image on the disc, it's pretty sick. And um, it's in mint condition, really. And it's just uh, like a manual there. And um, the disc is immaculate. It's like not even one scratch in there, literally. It's just dust in it, that's it. No scratches. Probably because no one's ever played this because it's only a demo. But um, the disc is really nice, look at that. Sick guy is. But anyway, that's Tekken demo. I don't know if you can tell, but that's a demo disc. Um, may trade this one of you guys if any of you guys want this, uh, which is pretty good for one of you uh, PlayStation collectors. Uh, this is only £1.50, which was a bit cheap, a bit, a bit uh, expensive, I mean. But um, I just wanted it because I like Tekken, and I've already got Tekken 2. But um, I might, I might, I'll just thought I'd get that again because these have it. But I think I might have chucked it away or lost it or in the way, I don't know. 
but um, anyway, yeah, that's my um, pick up some car boot today. I didn't get any video footage this time, which I'm going to try and get. I want to uh, get one of those, um, there's like glasses what has a camera on it, which I want to get one day and um, see if I can get any good video footage with one of those. But I don't really know which one to go for, so I'm thinking of contacting a YouTuber who uses one and um, see where, what one he went for so I can snag one up for myself as well and um, get some better footage for you and uh, yeah uh, be ordering my laptop today because I tried yesterday to order my laptop and uh, the website was down so we'll be trying again to, um, today and see if it works and I should have my laptop by just the start of October so it should be good so thanks for watching this video and I'll see you next one guys